Welcome, everyone, to Manny's Irish Pub Sports Betting Show, powered by Wager Talk and Sports Memo. I have... Oh, he changed his name. It's Finn at Wager Talk now. It's no longer Effin Tony. I, I didn't change it. It must be a... You know how that stuff is... Uh, typically, when I log on, it'll just bring up the screen. And all that stuff's already... Um, it, it's already... It's, uh, it's, it's Populated. It's, it's already populated, and I think I'm using a different browser today, so that's why um, ah. that says Finn. That's okay. Uh, we'll just tell everybody. It's, uh, it is say, Finn at Wage Talk, or at Finn at Wage Talk, and F and Tony um, are the same thing. I need to. Uh, I need that, to yeah. That. Synonymous is the word. Synonymous. There's lots and of other is... things. Lots of other things, too, John. That, that um, This is, I think this F and Tony is a kind it's kind, it's gentle, it's loving compared to some of the things that have been called. Oh, I, I agree. It has a nice yeah. ring to it. F and Tony. Yeah. And Dr. Chuck. Yeah. yeah I, said, I, I said F and referee a couple of times over the weekend, too. Uh, yeah, I, I will say uh, quite a few times for me. I mean, I had a, I had a pretty good weekend. <laughs> but I had a pretty good weekend, but I'll tell you right now, I lost two games. Two of my games, two of my losers, I lost in the last 30 seconds of the game. Uh, there were some frantic finishes yeah. in the NFL, if that's what you're referencing. No, college. 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 Oh, that too. Well, I, you know, I, I Texas, I had, I had Texas plus the points. And I did too. Up, up I did too. 21. You figure that's going to be a three-point game. You're still, we're still going to cover. And uh, there were some calls in that game that were uh, mysterious. But then that – I don't ever – listen, it's not a bad beat. We got beat. Our clients lost. That's it. That's all that should be remembered. We have to be better. There we go. Well said. Yeah. And my other um, tough loss was Mississippi. Oh, yeah. Who uh, was covering there at the end until they gave up the touchdown, and then Arkansas goes for it instead of going into overtime. You couldn't fault them. That was, that was a good call. Uh, the defenses were just exhausted or out of I, shape or something. Yeah. I, I had My other loss was – listen, I had I had Wake Forest. Minus mm. two. Wake Forest takes the lead, and they let this – very similar – to what happened? Um, well, the running back. Uh, I can't, what, was, what was the kid for? The kid for what's, what's his name? I can't. It's horrible. I have to remember this. But but OU um, or not OU, but uh, Syracuse scores a touchdown with what thirty seconds, thirty seven seconds to go, and the game it goes to overtime, and, and Wake still wins, but they, they win don't go. Right. That's right. That's <laughs> correct. Yeah, that was one of my free picks. Yeah, that I had. I, I it was my two dollars Tuesday. So oh. there were a lot of people that either uh, – first off, Syracuse, they were they, – they, I, I, I was outlined. I outlined it, and I expressed it, and I explained it that, that they're better than, uh, than prior. Yeah, anytime – this team, this Syracuse Orange team couldn't keep their quarterback upright for, for the last three years. I mean, he, it was – you know, it was basically uh, whoever's going to play quarterback was being – it was a slaughter, absolute slaughter. So they were better. They've been better. Um, unfortunately, I thought wait, I thought a guy I really like, Clawson. Coach Clawson is always overachieves. I mean, they they play far above their skill set typically, right? What I didn't like was how they did. They made very few adjustments to. They didn't stay, They didn't bring safety up in the box for uh, for the Syracuse quarterback, who's who's a dual threat. I don't. I, he's more of a runner quarterback than he is passing quarterback, and they never once really said, "Listen, you're not going to, you're not going to get a yard running. You're going to have to beat us to the air." And they never made that. That it just felt like they never made that defensive adjustments, which really surprised me. That said, Wake is what they're six and zero. They're the best, the highest ranked team in the ACC, and at this point forward, everyone who's listening, um, they're an absolute fade because, despite the fact that they're six and zero. Despite the fact that they're the top team in the ACC, they are going to be their, – their tag, you know, whatever you're going to carry, whatever you're going to be hand up with, uh, supporting Wake is probably going to be a little too much. I can't agree more. And um, when I saw the polls come out, of course, I knew where Iowa was going to be. But in our description on our YouTube yeah. page for the show, I put Iowa number two, what, in wrestling? That too, probably. There's, there, I, with all due respect, they, they've worked hard to earn this record. Uh, the, you know, the injury to Clifford is not an excuse. It's not what it should have, could have club for Penn no. State. It, it, these things happen. Uh, you know, the, 
the quarterback that came in was overwhelmed. Uh, but he was doing his best. I mean, these kids are young. I mean, you can't, you know, fault them when they're suddenly uh, put into these situations that are high pressure. You know, not not every one of these kids has played uh, four consecutive state championships and one in high school. So I, I think that along the lines of Wake Forest, I think one of these weeks uh, Iowa will be a fade and it might be a big one on my card well, uh, much like much like Texas A and M was my ten unit SEC game of the month. Yeah, I will say and, this about you know, I'll say this about Iowa. Um, if it's going to be a fade, it's going to be a fade because you're giving double digits. Um, let me tell you, as right that'll now, happen. That will well, happen. It's already happened this week. Purdue, Purdue. Except, except this is the deal. Uh, you, you're either, I, and I'm not saying this is what I'm doing. I'm not. I, it's one of those where you say. I'm not saying that he did that on purpose, but he did that on purpose. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm on Iowa. Purdue is effing bad. Yeah, this is a team that is. This is a team that is bad. That their record isn't anything near who they are. They got them. They're a mess at quarterback. They don't know what offense they want to run. They don't know what scheme they want to run. And this is a team that went. Well, they undefeated or they one maybe one loss. Well. They got destroyed by Minnesota, and Minnesota is as one-dimensional as any team in division in FBS football, outside of maybe yep. outside of maybe uh, Georgia I, Tech or Navy you know, or Tech Army. Used to be not Georgia Tech. No, Georgia, yeah, that's true. Good point. Georgia Tech's new. They're 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 reborn. Yep. But Purdue, uh, I, much to your point, horrible, horrible. Uh, so why is the number two ranked team in the nation? This, this game reminds me of Oregon when they were number three going up against Stanford, and they were only favored by eight on the road, which is essentially this line. Uh, I was at home. That's the difference. But they're the number two team in the country, and they're only going to—they're only twelve and a half points better than Purdue. Well, yeah, that's that's irrelevant to. Here's the deal. Let, let's let's be honest. Let's understand. Let's call a spade a spade. These are, these are, these are AP rankings. It, this is what, you know what it means. Well, they're they're, they're if stupid. I could, if I could muster up gas, I would tell you that's what it's worth. <laughs> because that's all it's worth. Dr. It's Chuck, worth welcome to the show. Yeah, I mean, and just to piggyback, AP rankings, they, they just favor goose eggs. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Right. You got to look, you got to use metrics and you got to use, you know, like one of the things that I use the most is, how many losses would you have if you were an average team and you played the schedule you played, et cetera, well, et cetera? You're absolutely right. Here's the deal. It is for people like us. For It's supposed to be for those such as us, and that is it's a huge advantage for us. We're going to gain – if we want to yeah. fade – if we want to fade Iowa, we're getting an extra point too, maybe more, because exactly, of their ranking. That's exactly why you said last week. Yes. Yeah. One of them and, – and you said only – and for me, I, I do both football levels, but this is why you said the only time you use power ratings is in college football because yes. there's so many teams and you want to, you know, you want to be able to decipher it, but there's nobody, there's nobody that's going to come on Manny's pub show that has Iowa as a single digit power rated team. No, I mean, no, no, I'll say this. I said it on, I did a series, I did a series, I did an XM series show uh, every Friday night and we had a discussion about Iowa and I said it then I'll say it again. And that is that Iowa had, to that point, to to this game, to the point, to this Nittany Lions versus Hawkeyes game, this is a well-coached team, guys. They have, they'll have more NFL draft. They'll have more more kids that go to the NFL than Ohio State in this draft. Here, they had not, the coaches are, are, again, well-coached. They didn't have any reason to show anything offensively in their first five games because the, the opposition gave them short fields on everything they did. Everything they'd done, their, their average drive was their average starting drive was on the opponent's side of the fifty. First five games, and it's not like they hadn't beat thirty nine yard line. That's right. It's not like they hadn't been challenged by a few teams that are capable. They just did everything right, and it's one of those situations where. Last week was a little different, uh, and we saw it until Clifford left. They were still challenged. Uh, they were offensively challenged. Now, I don't know that that's going to be the case against Purdue. Purdue, if anything, Purdue 
hat, Purdue has to score 30 to win. And I, I, both of us, all three of us know, they're not scoring 30 <laughs> against Iowa. And that's, and that's is, that over, is that over three games or just the one? You made, you made a point that um, – you looked at the line and said Vegas thinks the, the the number two team in the nation is only twelve or thirteen points better than Purdue. They know, you no, know, they, they just well, know. no. I mean uh, the betting community, right? Like, that's our behavior. But I think I think it could you could also look at it as as a uh, you know R- Rob hated using that term last week letdown, and I'm not yeah. saying it's a let it's not a letdown game, but Purdue's not going to score. No. It's like it's like Tony was saying is. It, this 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 makes me feel like that uh, Wisconsin twenty four nothing blah. You know, I will. Uh, I'll say this: <laughs> when they open this game up, guys, I my first thought again, I I'm I can be impulsive. Uh, in fact, I can be very impulsive and uh, obsessive. But uh, I wanted to jump this at 12, 12 and a half because I, I figured it was gonna the, the public public might move Iowa. Uh, wait, wait, let's, let's, let's. Oh, let's everybody and their brother's going to take Iowa. Uh, let's do this. Let's also say this. Let's call a spade a spade. The most of the public that plays big 10 games, the, the majority of the public know the big 10. They also, even the public that play big 10 games know Iowa uh, being a touchdown favorite as a road team. I will say this. Let me say this. Uh, it's it's going to be hard for even a, an average weekend warrior who's a Big Ten fan who doesn't even look at uh, uh, doesn't even look at a box score, let alone specific metrics in college football that we use the underlying peripherals that that are much more telling. I will say this though: uh, when we have time, and we don't have time because guess what? I have a one thirty uh, date with a with a uh, supermodel, so I have to go. But real fast, what is it now? Real fast, F and Tony. This is in Iowa City again. Oh yeah, no, it's in Iowa. Yeah, but I was going to say, I want you to look at. There's going to be a, there's a few times that Iowa's going to go on the road. Okay, in this last six games they play, five games they play after this one. If you look at Fred, look at the coach, look at this team's record as double digit favorites on the road, Iowa, and it's it's stupid. It, it, well, I'm talking about not. I'm not talking about just. 65 good I'm talking about 80 percent against the number not straight up against the number first off there's not in in big Ten play let's be honest uh first of Iowa hasn't been a uh there's not a whole lot of double digit favorite road favorites in big Ten play it, good or bad it for the most part teams in the big Ten are, are pretty conservative play ball, uh, call uh, play calls even Michigan, still, Harbaugh is still a little too conservative for me. And, again, we talked before you came on, Doctor, was that Ohio State's really the only team in the Big Ten who has, you know, has made that, uh, you know, has grown with college football. And they'll throw the ball around the field. They can score. Uh, they're much more explosive, much more dynamic offensively than a Minnesota or even a Michigan State who has – a terrific running back right now, and he, you know, he's he's just had a season that's over the top too. He's got to be considered. While I don't think a running back wins the Heisman this year, um, he's got to be considered in that. He's, he's in that conversation. He's in the he's in the talk. Yeah. Yep. All right, Tony. So yeah. jump jumping ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to see if you get you on record, and I because I know where John's going to stand. They got a they're off, and then Halloween they got uh, they got Madison. What do you think? It ends. It ends then, right? Who? Iowa. Oh, you mean you're saying they got a bye week next week? Yep. Yeah. They go. Then they, have, then they have uh, five games remaining. Mm-hmm. Is it five or four? I think it's five. I think they have twelve they regular. They, have 12 they, don't regular play, season. they don't play. Iowa, they don't play Ohio State. They don't play. They don't play Michigan. Ohio Nebraska. State. Or Nebraska's on the road, but it's Madison on Halloween. That is, I think. I, oh, Iowa is in Madison. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. Uh, I think the team that beats Iowa uh, straight up, are we talking straight up? I think they have to be, to some degree, they have to be, uh, they have to be balanced and dynamic to some degree offensively. I don't see that team. Now, no. against the spread's a different story. Um, but I, I looked at their schedule a couple, three weeks ago, and in fact, I mentioned on this, if they win this week, there's a pretty good chance they're going to go into the Big Ten Championship game undefeated. 
You really think they're going to beat Wisconsin, and that Wisconsin's I not going to get their head out of the rear end and, and actually? I don't. I mean, well, tell me, tell me how Wisconsin can score other than running the football. How do they score? Well, how's Iowa going to score on them? That because they will turn them over, and they will they will make them pass. If they will stack the ball, do what they do, and that is basically try to run the ball if you will. We want you to throw it because we'll just wait for you to make a mistake. Every team has made a mistake. What they've done. Um, Against opposing teams, I mean, again, they're just well coached, guys. That's how they're going to score. I was not Wisconsin. Wasn't it Wisconsin? We talked about what the they defensively they wrote. They're they're good. They're good. They're fine. If they can run the football and play well effectively defensively and get a couple turnovers, be plus turnover, uh, then they're tough to beat even Madison. But even the Nittany Lions struggled against uh, Wisconsin week one. Wisconsin yep. destroyed them as far as the stat sheet goes. Yeah. But they're so one-dimensional. A good, smart, well-coached team will beat Wisconsin if they're playing in uh, if they're playing um, in Aaron Rodgers' backyard well, with, that, with bot officials. A lot of that, and a lot of that makes sense. And I'm not saying sour grapes. And I know yeah. John already did his yeah. mea culpa. But I mean, Yursich is first game with Clifford was that game in that's Madison. True. Yeah, and that's and that's, it that's, mean, the, that's your it wasn't that's easy. everybody. Everybody said that to me. And they've yeah. looked better, and they've looked better sure. and better together every week. And it's not, and it's it's not. A, Iowa doesn't have to um, ask for forgiveness for anybody for winning that game. They don't have no. to. But but we have to admit what we actually saw. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm still that guy that I trust everybody in my life. I I trust everyone till they give me a reason not to. And Iowa has still not given me a real reason to. To, to doubt the fact that I, I trust the coach staff, they have the ability to be creative and do some things, team. and they're going to have to. At some point, they've already got them in their back pocket. I'm telling you, this coach staff already has certain plays in their back pocket ready to go in case they have to be used. Um, yeah. And they have to be more creative uh, above their skill set offensively. Well, I guess, you know, looking ahead without <laughs> belaboring this point too much further, what I was saying, that's part of what I was saying is, like, yeah. Iowa has – the better personnel and the better offense. And they're going to go to Madison with a week off. And so you bring up a good point. Like, well, yeah, they're probably, and they're probably going to, they might get a point. What, well, let me ask you this. What, what was the, I'm a, quite certain there was a look ahead line on this. I don't, I don't, I don't have mine. I can't pull them up instantaneously, but there's, there's a look ahead line in this game, that Madison, Iowa game, without question. I wonder what the look ahead was on that game. Right. I know. I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess Wisconsin, is a three favorite. point favorite at minimum. At minimum, I, I was going to be. I was. I was afraid I was going to be getting points, and then, and then, I, 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 I will be shocked if, if, if every, if status quo, if everything is as it is right now, and Iowa has their record undefeated, untarnished. Let's say it's still there, and Wisconsin plays well. I, I can't imagine that I was not the favorite. And I'm not saying they're going to be overwhelming. I'm going to say three or less, two, two or less, probably. But uh, a pick'em is probably a fair. I think it's a fair guess. It's a, uh, educated, although everything we've said illogical. <laughs> well, I mean, let's let's put it in this terms. What yeah. would Georgia be favored um, if they were playing Iowa this Saturday? They would be favored by seventeen points. Uh, I would agree. I was going to say at least 14 and a half. I will tell you right now, and I'll just spit it out and give it you away. Uh, it would open at 14 and a half. Don't, yeah, well, let's put it way. If, if right now you saw, first off, I, I don't care. Personally, Georgia, Kirby Smart has waited for this moment for years and years and years where halfway through the season he has less losses, no losses, but less <laughs> losses than Alabama. And <laughs> – he actually has he actually has a a, a, a defense that 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 can outscore the the deficiencies of their offense and they're still listen this team I, I, are you gonna I'm I'm all I'm all in right now at twenty three and a half I'm all effing in on the Bulldogs over Stoops Mike Marks his best team. Kentucky's best team in a three decades, probably, right? Yeah. And this is a team that beat Florida. This is a team that's done that has done almost everything right, but 
they listen they're not that dynamic offensively and they're good defensively right um, very good 23 that's asking a lot of georgia to score basically to win the game 24 nothing it, it, well, it reminds me a lot of you know I, I was pretty big on arkansas 18 and a half i thought wow yeah. Pittman, Pittman and smart that yep. that correlation there that's a lot of points and this to me it feels like the books are thinking all right well we already had this game once and we only put out 18 and a half so we got to put another touchdown on there john asked you asked a good question john was it you, who, who, who asked the question who asked the question what would i was what would george be favored by and that I was, was me okay let me ask this one. i'll make it even tougher would this total be more in iowa and georgia would the total be more than 35 and that's low college, that's a pretty low college football total. But would it be forty? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you had Alabama playing uh who was it? Mississippi the other week and the halftime total was forty one and a half for the first half. Yeah, there's a total that opened up at eighty three this yesterday. Eighty three. Wow. What was that? Um, that's all miss, right? Let me see. I want to see something right now on that total. Uh, it's, it gets, 70, it's come down 79 and a half now. Hooker. Well, yeah, because Hooker, Heupel and Hooker look good. Yeah. So it, yeah. And they're 80, let me see, 80. Well, it's so in here. Circus still has it at 80 here in town. And understand, I've, I've played a big 12 total uh, in the last five years that was right at 80. And everything got, and, and it did go over. When, when I scored, they scored 105 or 107 points in that t- in that game. Yeah. But everything has to go right in a total of 80 because well, you can't be kicking field. There's no field goals allowed. In fact, there has to be a sign. I have to, I did, I'd go to the stadium. I say, listen, I got the over in this game, and you are not allowed to kick. I have a sniper up in, up here. If somebody brings a field goal kicker out, he's dead. No field goals because I got to get over my 80. But, but, <laughs> but, yeah. this is the same. This is the same Tennessee team that let Pitt score about three hundred points. Let me tell you, here this Tennessee team. Uh, I'll the first one to admit to you right now that uh, I played under six and a half season wins. Tennessee got absolutely. It was grand theft. What happened to this roster um, in the off season? You know. They lost seven or eight five-star recruits. Listen, there's some college football teams that that in 80 years don't have eight five-star recruits. Yeah, they lost them through the transfer portal. Yeah, lots of Oklahoma. And what? Here's the deal, though. If Josh, if Josh Heupel, if they buy into this Josh Heupel system and he can get them to execute to any degree, we just saw it. We've seen it last couple. They've gotten better and better. And I'm at this point in time, I'm ready to take my under six and a half season. So I'm ready to go down to the – and I know, the guys know where I bought it from. They'll buy it back for me. I just want to go see how much they'll give, you, give me for it yeah. because I'm, very, I'm, not, I'm not feeling very good about it. <laughs> I only have two – speaking of futures, I only have two futures, and I got a big one uh, on, over the weekend with Utah. So, whew. Well, hey, before we that, do our, um, our yeah, best bets – yeah, okay. um, yeah. I say this tongue in cheek, but is Ohio State still in the Big Ten? Well, or, or do uh, they just suck and they, they they don't get any consideration now at all? They don't listen. They have not. That's what's played. so ridiculous about polls. Well, yeah, don't you, listen. If you're gonna, if you want to, you know, if you're gonna get uh, a hernia and uh, blue balls over polls, then you need to, you need to get therapy. Don't ignore them. That's ignore the them, John. Ignore no, them. No, I, ignore them. I no, think we do. Oh, no, Tony, you got to use them. Well, yeah, no, but that's fine. Last week, what did I say in the show, John? I told we talked about. It, I said, I said, listen, I can't keep. I'm, I'm pushing myself away from my computer because I, I this ridic- twenty and a half. I told you, Ohio State twenty and a half is 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 stealing money. Yes, sir. Yes, and I didn't push in. I, 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 I didn't do it because. Uh, I, but if I had to do it again, if, if, if that's it, that way this weekend, I'm, I'm in. Ohio State's there's nobody in the Big Ten right now. Um, all things equal, if if they played to their skill set, nobody can even they can't be in the same uh, they can't be in the same playground. Uh, Making Ohio State kick left footed and throw left handed, they, they can't play with them. No, and it's going to be a painful. It's it's going to be a 
painful uh, over here in Columbus. Uh, yes. If, if Michigan uh, Michigan comes well, no, Michigan, in with a goose, Michigan comes in with a goose egg in that game, boy, I, if they come in with a better record and we just slaughter them. Like somebody, that. somebody yesterday, I was listening to a pod. So I listened to as many pod. I try to listen to someone working, you know, and just to get because uh, I like listening to what other people have to say. Um, and sometimes it, you know, it it, it uh, uh, light a fuse or. Or, or send some electricity to a light bulb above my head, give me an idea. But uh, somebody it was pretty passionate yesterday, and I don't remember who it was about Michigan taking down Ohio State this year. And I, I couldn't, didn't help. I should have stopped to get the name of who it was and, and paid more attention. But all I did was smile and say, "Wow, John Harbaugh is going to have to have a, he's going to have to have a, a, a scheme transplant in his head uh, for him to be able to take down Ohio State." Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if there's if there's that thinking out there, and if they do, oh, can you imagine how good the Manny's Pub Show is going to be when we just put out everyone just puts out a best bet? I mean, if Michigan does have a goose egg and Ohio State has a loss, oh, it's. I mean, we we knew John. And it's just, here's another thing. It was funny. Did did I? T- we told we talked about this Michigan Nebraska game, and I said we all said because John was he's 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 thinking his thinking's correct. He's saying how can this line only be this well, and how can it be going backwards? Because these guys that run sports books, believe it or not, um, they have some. While they want to put a number out there, they're just going to get the same amount of money on both sides. This game was set up for for Nebraska. And in truth, Nebraska wins that game. Adrian Martinez was great until until you know rubber had to meet the road, and he fumbled there late in the game and. All you saw. What did you see? You just they they as soon as he fumbled, they're ruthless and they're brutal and they're cruel. And that is the networks immediately cammed over to the sidelines to get a picture of Frost. And here's and all Frost did when he fumbled was And that will be the only first and only and last time that Tony Finn uses Adrian Martinez and Gray to the same. He was good. He was good. <laughs> Listen, Adrian Martinez, ter- terrific talent, but fairly limited on on accuracy with the foot throwing the football. And and in truth, when you're playing behind Adrian, Martinez, it's, it's kind of it, none of this. If Nebraska was winning, and they had the thing Frost has done very well is I don't he's he's ignored the black shirts. The black shirts are who Nebraska's been for uh, for eighty years, and Not the black true. shirts no longer exist. Not like they used to, you know, um, and they're just not good enough defensively to to, to, to basically overcome his reckless uh, style of play, which if they were better defensively, guys, a turnover here or there would not have cost Nebraska game after game after game. They just don't have any room, for, no margin for error at all. Yeah. And Martin is not that guy. He's also been in Lincoln since like what 2013 is that is this is no Martinez? oh he's been he's a 20 year senior the super, yeah. super 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 senior yeah I think he I think he played for Polini's first year maybe I don't know yeah. well um I'm still one of those that Nebraska deserves everything they get they left the big 12 for money they got their money yep but they have not been they haven't been a and been a shadow. What happened to our buddy? He left again. He goes. He disappears. I think he goes and maybe does a few. Uh, like he, tell him it's okay to vape on this show if he wants to. Um. He has. He has a young family. I think. I think that's what happens. He has okay, uh, John, three young girls. I just got pinged, so I. I'd like. Right. To give, you want to give out a free play? Yep. Go ahead. And I'll. Um... Okay. I'm gonna. Can I hit it? Uh, I'm gonna give you a. Uh, I'm gonna give you a. Remember that? Did I? How did I do on my three team? Did I hit that parlay that? Yes, one you night? did. I yes, did, you didn't did. I? I yes. did a, yeah, I didn't pay much, but it was it was short, two and a half to one or something like that, right? I know it was great. I have another one that is going to be similar. No, it won't be near that bad um, because uh, I'm going to lay the points. I'm going to lay the points with Baltimore, the Ravens tonight. Okay. Baltimore, and I'm going to throw another game. Uh, position. I'm going to say minus four and a half. Okay. Minus four and a half first half. Minus seven second half. And I'm saying seven for the second half. Um, while it's mean, full, seven, full game. Full game. 
Um, there's mostly seven and a half that did, but there's a couple. There's seven minus one twenty at penny. There, there's still most of the seven and a halfs out there are either plus money or small or small juice. So it's a seven. They've pushed that hook out there. So it's seven for the game, four and a half for the first half. And if if I showed you these metrics on Carson Wentz, on his uh, he's only throwing thirty three percent of his passes, thirty three only thirty three are beyond the first down marker. He's yep. dink, he's dinking and dunking over over twenty and a half completions. Um, they're gonna fall behind and they're gonna dink dunk dink dunk dink dunk and over twenty and a half. And I got it at minus one thirteen at penny. And there you go. I like those that three. One. Those yep. three. You combine those three, and you're probably going to get uh, you're, you're going to get closer to a, a, a true three team parlay price because I'm not putting the money line on Baltimore on either first half or, or uh, for game. And then we'll get a true we'll get a two three uh, pretty close to a true three teamer. Okay. Yep. That sounds that sounds real good. I'll let you get going, and then I'll All do right. my pick here, and I'll I'll conclude the show uh, on my own. Until uh, um, uh, until the doctor, put the doctor, dunking out on us. But yeah, no, it's like gotta, that. it's gotta stop doing that. I know. Okay, let's. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, thanks, thanks for your time, Tony. Have a good night. You too, Mike. Yeah, obviously you can't deny the fact that Tony Finn is one of the best guys out there, and it's just such a pleasure just to listen to him talk and so knowledgeable. And uh, better yet, he uh, he wins, you know. And uh, speaking of winning, I'm gonna put this here. Uh, there are all kinds of specials being run right now. Uh, to get involved, it's going to be a five sport month, guys and gals, uh, coming up very soon. Obviously, November will then continue that five sport month, and you can get uh, special discounts right now from sportsmember.com to get on my my uh, my subscriptions and be able to not know that you're not going to miss a play. You don't have to worry about uh, getting it. It'll email to you automatically. It's three hundred fifty nine dollars using the code combo three fifty nine. That is combo in capital letters C O M B O three five nine three hundred fifty nine dollars. It's a flash sale by Sports Memo. It's good through this Sunday. College football and NFL seasons for the price of one. So that is a great deal. And you see in the bottom, the records speak for themselves. Been doing this for twenty seven years, folks, and uh, I think it's safe to say that I. Kind of, kind of know what I'm doing here most of the time. Uh, bonus number two, I was very good in NBA, and especially March Madness is one of my niches. It just uh, brings out the best in me. So NBA, NHL, right around the corner, and you can get 50% off a 30-day all-access pass and get plays in all five major sports for around three bucks a day. That is using uh, JR50 to get that code. As a 30-day all-access pass, JR50. But the best value is the football, college, and pro. $359, combo 359. That gets it all the way to the Super Bowl. And that is a good bargain indeed. Now I'm looking here at the prop bets uh, on DraftKings. And I actually wanted to pull up Major League Baseball tonight. And... uh, Dodgers are minus 210 uh, with Matt Scherzer on the hill. Not surprising there, but if we go to uh, the player props, um, let me get here real quick. Um, Pitcher props, we want. um, What am I looking at? Oh, over strikeouts. So we're going to go over. Um, seven and a half Max Scherzer over seven and a half, and it's minus 120 right now. You know, I don't like paying minus 120, but I like the number. I think, uh, you know, very high probability he has eight or more against these uh Rays, and um, you know, he's he's pitching at a, at a very high level right now, so I, I like that one quite a bit. And then in the um, uh, uh, Red Sox game. Uh, I like Rodriguez over four and a half strikeouts. So we got Scherzer there, and then we got Rodriguez over four and a half. And that's actually, uh, it's very tempting for me to do double pizza money on that. So that would be basically a a full unit if you 
say a 0.5% is a pizza money bet. Um, and I think we will do that. We'll, we'll double up and do one unit over four and a half on Eduardo at even money plus 100 and then half a unit over seven and a half strikeouts for Scherzer. Uh, so that's it, guys. You got the pick from uh, Tony Finn, which is always a, a very good one. And uh, we have college football. Uh, Dr. Chuck and myself produced uh, two shows today that will be up uh, later tonight or first thing in the morning after they get edited by our fantastic production crew at wagertalk.com. And on behalf of them, myself, Tony Finn, and all the guys that are I'm fortunate enough to have on this show as guests, may all the wins continue to be yours.